Diversity was front and center last night at the Oscars as Black Panther Green Book. If Beale Street could talk and Black Klansmen took home awards. But some say more needs to be done to make the Oscars in Hollywood more inclusive. Samantha Thomas is live from a theater that really shines a spotlight on min minorities in the film industry, Sam. Yes, I, I am here around town, Beth and Dana, at, at the Eclipse Movie Theater, which is here in downtown Las Vegas. And although it is minority owned, everybody is invited. And one thing they focus on is inclusion here at the Eclipse Theater. And it's great movie theaters, eight theaters, all inclusive, nice leather seats. I think I want to watch a movie. But first, I spoke with some UNLV students around town who still believe that diversity has a long way to go. There are a lot of changes. Uh, when I first started, um, personally, it was kind of interesting seeing how the males immediately dom dominate the industry and the area. Just by the way, my fellow classmates, the male students, would just take on the cameras and take on the positions as director. In the past couple of years, the number of women and people of color in lead roles has increased. I just came back from Sundance Film Festival and uh, it was 48% of the directors there were actually female. But others say representation could be better. There's not a lot of representation and I feel like when there is representation for people of color or for people that um, have been displaced in society, it's more, um, it feels like, like we're getting a favor, like we should be really excited. There's still a missing piece in the overall picture of diversity and inclusion. It's a really dicey subject because I wish there was a level playing field, but it's like, what's a level playing field? I want to compete at the same level, but I don't want it to be handed to me because my hair looks like this. Others say it's all about an angle. As long as we continue to create platforms, we'll hear more voices. Um, it's unfortunate that sometimes we have to wait so long for a specific platform to be created, but I also try to approach it at least from where I'm coming from is not only am I a woman, but I'm a black woman. And how do you put those two together and be like, that's a package deal. I'm not separating the two. Still, some students see yeah, improvement in the future. And even being able to see myself represented on screen. Um, you know, as an Asian American, there's not too many main roles for that. I think people definitely are making efforts to break that and to have more diversity, um, even on the independent level. Now back here at Eclipse Theater, Beth and Dana, as um, I said, it's minority owned, but everyone is invited here at Eclipse Theater on, on Third and Gas. And I have Sabrina. Yes. You are so beautiful this morning. She's a spokesperson <laughs> for Eclipse. And I know you all said you partner with organizations like United Way. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. Junior Achievement. It's mm -hmm. all about, I think, bringing the community together. We're yes. here to serve the community and make sure that we are bringing everyone together, making sure that all those stories are told mm -hmm. and the voices are heard, and just making sure that we get everybody down here to Eclipse Theater. Yes, so, a, a diversity, yeah. inclusion, everybody is invited down here. Uh, you all invited me to a movie, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Come on down. Everybody's welcome. Hey Sam, they invited hundreds of school kids down to watch Black Panther. Yes. I'm curious to know, mm -hmm. um, you know, what that meant to those kids and why they made that decision. Well, when you all invited the kids down to see Black uh -huh. Panther, over 600 kids, and you all gave them a behind-the-scenes tour, what really prompted that, Sabrina? Well, we knew, obviously, that Black Panther was going to be a huge movie. We wanted to make sure that the kids understood how important it was for them to see themselves, right? Yes. People who look like them, not only on the screen, but behind the scenes as well. And then Nick Steele, the owner of the theater, thought it was really important to give them a behind-the-scenes look of the theater. And mm -hmm. then he also took the time to talk to the kids about entrepreneurship. Yes. And how important it was to be, um, you know, starting your own business uh -huh. and learning about that as well. So he wanted to make sure that they understood the importance of that as well. So he's very, very interested in making sure that he uh, serves the community. So Nick Steele, two years, Eclipse Theaters has been here. Sabrina Cofield, thank you so much. Thank you. Beth and Dana, you got to get here if you haven't been. Yeah, yeah. that's great, Sam. Amazing. Please thank her for all they're doing for our community. Yeah, they held a big uh, viewing party for Golden Knights, too, one right. day when they were in the playoffs. So they do a lot of things. It's yeah. really cool. And if you didn't know about it, now you know. Mm -hmm.